we launched uh, we launched a competition to design Canada's next vehicle of the future, uh, an all Canadian designed and engineered and supplied zero emissions concept car called the Arrow Project Arrow. Today we revealed the design. The winning design came from four students at Carleton University, and the competition was open to colleges and universities across Canada. After uh, we announced this project uh, in uh, at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas in January, and we went through a design competition where we invited uh, only Canadian students at colleges or universities. We had whittled it down to nine shortlist finalists, and then we had a, a judging panel, which included uh, people like uh, Ralph Giles, who's the global head of design for Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, and Ray Tange, who was uh, the only non-Japanese a born executive on, on Toyota's uh, uh, Global Executive Board. Today, we announced that the Carleton University team of students won uh, their concept called Traction. Uh, the, the concept Traction or the Project Traction won uh, uh, Project Arrow. The team of four students say it was a six-month process. Me and my team are from industrial design at Carleton, so we're not normally used to working with automobiles and on cars. We're mainly working with products and different systems. But uh, we figured that, you know, it'd be a good opportunity to, you know, try our hand at it. Smaller, mid-sized SUV. Um, we went with this sort of a silhouette because it fits most um, Canadians' uh, like lifestyles. One thing that we did that we focused on was actually um, when driving to around uh, Ontario or um, through the um, Canadian Shield, you always find the roads and the highways that are sort of pathways through these blasted um, parts of bedrock and there's all these sort of shifting rock shapes and formations and that's one thing that we really strive to get into our car as there is a small overhang at the front and an underhang at the back it's sort of like the top of the car is shifting from the bottom of the car. The car will be built by Team Canada and every part will be supplied by a Canadian supplier. The province of Ontario and the Canadian government have also teamed up to make this happen. As for the students, they will now take home the $10,000 grand prize and be recognized for their outstanding work. In a tweet, the Prime Minister of Canada also acknowledged their work. He said congratulations to the at APMA Canada and the winning team from Carleton University on this all-Canadian zero-emission vehicle design. I think that we all agreed that the reward is not nearly the same as just being able to have this car on the road and having the most incredible portfolio piece you can imagine. And also having it be tangible in the future. It's something that, you know, is real, that is in production, that you can touch, that you can experience, that you can drive. This zero emission vehicle is projected to be complete by 2022. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.